Hey guys, Marissa, kitchentablestamper.com. You guys ready to see how this one works? I see you're starting to get here. All right, so this is our project today. And you pull the tab, got a fun message on one side and a gift card on the other. <laughs> Isn't that fun? And uh, having a fun last hurrah with the 2018-2020 in colors. Things are starting to sell out. The ribbons, um, pineapple punch and blueberry bushel ribbons are gone. Get your ink refills and your card stock. Thank you. All right, so here it is. We're gonna do a little challenge in the craft social. If anybody who wants to give this little slider a try, I am on a slider kick. This one's for Kathy Pilata. She is the one who asked for a gift card slider. Um, Shelby asked for a slider too so here it is those of you who wanted a gift card slider there's the and it's much easier than it looks all right i've got a very small bit of housekeeping for you while we're waiting to give everybody a chance to get in here don't forget today is the last day to get the honey bee sweet treats class to go curbside pickup is available or eight dollars priority shipping gets your class delivered to you it is a five project class featuring the Honey Bee Bundle. $45 includes a package of the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. And then this gorgeous new paper. A full spool of the terracotta ribbon. And a full package of the new gilded, not gilded, yeah, gilded gems. Plus kits for five projects. Your treats that are included, your dipper, your honey sticks, your bee pen. That's all included in the kit. $45 plus $8 shipping if required. Today is the last day to register. Email me if you need the link. It went out in yesterday's newsletter. If you're a newsletter subscriber, there's a link to just order up the class right in your email box. All right, today's the last day for that guy. Good? That's our housekeeping. And this is our project for today. All right, let's start out with the mechanics of this one. It's really similar to our candy slider. So the some of the stuff is gonna feel a little familiar, I think, for you. We've got a piece of cardstock for our wrapper and then four pieces of cardstock for our little wings. And we do that double cardstock for some stability because and we need a four by eight and three quarters piece for the wrap and then we need four pieces I'm gonna do the same basic black these are two and three eighths by three and seven eighths and the measurements will be on the project sheet for you this afternoon <laughs> hey Gina you like that guy happy Friday to you too one more time for those of you who are just joining us this is what we're making and the base of this little slider requires five pieces of cardstock Let's work on the base. I'm going to grab my Simply Score tool and we're going to score this basic black cardstock. Eight and three quarters side is in the Simply Score tool and we are going to give this a score. Queen. All right, one half, uh, one and or three and one eighth, five and three quarters, eight and a quarter. All right, so here's the thing. This let me show you, is our bottom panel because, let me see. All right, so this is our bottom panel. What you're looking for when you're doing this is that, let me hit these with the bone folder. And while you're marking your bottom panel or while you're paying attention to your bottom panel is because one's a little bit wider than the other. So this panel is narrower than this panel. So it's got to go in first and it comes up a little short of the next score line. <laughs> so that's what we're looking for here. And that's, okay, so now I'm gonna mark this guy as our down panel. And I'm gonna bevel our top panel. So this is our down panel. I'm just doing a pen this time. And this is our top panel. Now for fun, I got another scrap of basic black cardstock, not to be confused with our 
pieces. This one we're gonna go right ahead and punch with a circle tab. The circle tab punch is retiring. I checked the list this morning, did not see it on there, so it's still available. It's an awesome little punch to get your hands on, very useful. I also use my circle tab punch so it'll never leave my collection. I also use my circle tab punch for my ink sponges. So I cut the cardstock color, staple it to a sixth of a piece of sponge, and this will make your sponges last longer because it'll be clear that this sponge only gets used in Blushing Bride. So another reason why I love my circle punch, I'm sad it's retiring, but I'll never give it up because it's so useful. It's also great for marking tabs in your catalog for you know, stamps, cardstock, ink pads, ribbons, embellishments, and really useful little tool. So we've got our tab, our panels for inside of our slider, and our wrapper. Lots of black cardstock here. You can mix these up however you want for your design. That's why the challenge, I want to see what you do with it. All right. For stability, we're going to take each of these little panels. We're going to add some multi-purpose liquid glue. And we're going to glue together, making a double thickness. Now, as I'm making these sliders, I've learned a little something, and I want to share that with you here. So here is our left side panel, the one without the tab. The one with the tab, we're gonna go ahead and add multi-purpose liquid glue just around the edges of our tab here. We're gonna punch through the center, so don't really saturate it. You'll take one of these little tabs and add the little circle pole. Now here's the thing. I was finding with my candy sliders that once in a while, a little pull tab would get hung up sliding back in on the back. So if you add your tab to the first one, then glue to the second one, it'll slide just a little bit more smoothly. See, that's what happens when you craft a lot. You get better at it and you make a better finished product. So now we've got a smooth back. Got to remember that this is our back side when we go to put it all together. And now we've got our wrapper and then our two wings. Is it starting to take shape for you? <laughs> so we've got these pieces. Let's slide these guys to the side for just a minute. I'm gonna pull my trimmer in here and then this. It's down to almost nothing. If you've been watching my sliders, I've got thin page protectors. I get them on Amazon. I use them to build my um, idea binder, like my reference binder. They're really lightweight because these binders get thick and heavy fast. So I love these page protectors and they're not expensive. You can cut them right up. This is the actual mechanism for our slider. So what you want is about an inch and a half of plastic and one cut here will make two sliders because what you'll do is cut and you've got an inch and a half of this thin plastic material. I'm going to take scissors and I'm going to cut off this little binder. This is where the holes are to fit in your loose leaf notebook. And then I'm going to cut at the fold here. And I'm going to set this one aside. This one's another gift card slider. That's all you need. So it's about maybe a little more than eight and a half by one and a half inches of plastic. And then we're going to wrap our smaller panel with the plastic. And tear and tape, which I have right here. All right. And tear it up. All right. So we've got our little plastic. Going to wrap that across and make sure it's nice and straight and snug. No adhesive, peeking out the edges. We need it to, to slide freely. Cut off the excess. I'm a little crooked here. All right. Now we're going to glue our panels back. And that won't show, so I'm not concerned there. First, your tab panel on the inside. I want to slide this a little bit more to the side. 
and then your flat panel. Adhesive all the way on the left side. This one goes on upside down, centered between the folds. Now we're gonna wrap. So we're gonna snip these guys. I really illustrated that there's a right side and a wrong side, didn't I? All right, little bit of tear and tape. This one's gonna roll up nice and smooth because when we fold this guy, it comes in short of our score line. You see that? Then we got to on the far right side this time, add your tape. Ha ha, we're back on track. <laughs> Jackie says love, she loves that I'm human. Oh, am I human? <laughs> Um, and really, how often do we say it's only paper, right? There's two sides to every paper. It's only paper. All right, so here we are, back where we started from. Our mechanism is moving. Let's make sure it's moving. Make sure I didn't glue it closed. Yep. We're going to fold down the tab, add our tear and tape. Ta-da! Well, we'll ta-da as soon as I get it closed. <laughs> Lori says you show us what not to do. Mm, I hope it wasn't confusing what not to do. Now what to do. Here's where we're going to tuck that little guy. Make sure that this tab is free, flows freely. This one goes around. Don't get your plastic caught in there. See where that guy is sliding out of. Black makes it really hard to see, doesn't it? But then close this guy up. See, now this time it's not too tight. It lines right up. You get a nice smooth furnish that kind of <laughs> I promise it works <laughs> all right so that was fun now decorating that's a cinch we're gonna bring in some of the in colors that are retiring have a little last hurrah with them in my circle tab I've got a quarter inch punch punch a hole and grab look at this this is the last of the grapefruit grove ribbon i'm trying to decide if i want a little bit more ribbon since i have quite a bit of cardstock we'll see i better decide fast because the pineapple punch and blueberry bushel are already gone nice big loopy bow snip off so cute the strips for this, um, half inch was too wide, so these are 7 sixteenths. They're a sixteenth short, little hair short of half an inch. And we've got lovely lipstick. I'm going to put them in on rainbow order. I'm using multi-purpose liquid glue. You could probably run some snail down this, but I like that I can slide them just a little bit to bump them together. You get a little bit of time where you can move them a bit. So the multi-purpose liquid glue was my choice. Bring all three of these, or all five of these guys down. Isn't this the wildest color palette? I'm gonna be sad to, to see it go. I love what's new. I'm looking forward to it. There's, oh, I don't stay sad for long. There's always something new and exciting that comes to replace it. We were actually going through, um, Darcy, you're going to love this. Desi was going through a bunch of Angel Company stuff. I gave it all to her to do whatever with, and she's been um, just going through it. We've been looking at it and talking about it. It's crazy. These these products, these colors hold memories. Um, I had, did my first center stage. So if you're a demonstrator who is silver elite or above, you're considered a leader. And when you go to onstage events, you get a little extra evening with a, a dinner included. It's the night before onstage starts. It's called um, center stage. My first center stage was the night that they introduced these in colors. Like these products, as they come and go, they have they mark a period in my life so i'm kind of sad when the 
the old palette of in colors goes when things um, retire. It's sad to see them go, but uh, there's always something new and exciting that replaces it. Just in the meantime, these basic colors, these um, primary colors are going to be sadly missed. The new incoming colors are not nearly as um, as primary. Uh, I have a glue eraser somewhere. I can't find it right now. That's okay. I'll grab it at the end. So there's our little rainbow. I have this U word. The U word is from Well Written Framelits. And I've already cut it twice. I'm going to run it through the Big Shot one more time because I did it. Oh, I think the camera is catching it. Do you see how thick my little U is? It's a dimensional like little embellishment. And I did that by cutting it from Whisper White three times and stacking it up. So let's cut one time. I, I only have the one die for this set, so it, it is three runs through the big shot. We're just gonna do one. Oh, Rhonda says she's going to modify this slider again, making it deep enough to hold three packs of Smarties for her grandkids. I love that. That is the next thing on my list. I was thinking it would be really cool if one side slid out a gift card and the other side could slide out like a Hershey fun size bar. So I think it'd have to be opposite. I think your gift card would have to go on the inside and then this side would have to have the treat. But that was one of my next thoughts is to modify so that you get a treat in there. Fantastic idea. <laughs> and Marianne says she can't wait to make one. It's so awesome. I am so glad you're excited because I um, really, I, the, the idea has been in my head for a while. Ever since the candy, I've had some requests to make it for a gift card. And just sitting down and figuring out the measurements was... Uh, Finding time to do anything is crazy. All right, so let me see. I'm just gluing these guys with multi-purpose liquid glue. Here's where you could get um, a sheet of adhesive. Stampin' Up! used to have the little Sizzix one, and you can make these peel and stick. Or the other thing you can do with them is spray adhesive. If you like a little Elmer's spray adhesive, you could just give them a spray and then stack them up. So I'm going... The liquid glue way. The other thing too I've seen done but I haven't done myself is a little sponges like I showed you earlier. If you take a dab of glue or a little puddle of glue and put it on a silicone craft sheet and then use a sponge to pick up the glue, you could dab the back of these with a sponge and just stack them up. So now you've got some thickness here. It's almost a chipboard thickness. We're going to glue that guy right to our gift card. When I'm using the liquid glue, I just kind of squeeze out little dots and then spread it along with the nozzle. But I'm a very good gluer. I know that not everybody has got the dexterity for that. So a little sponge and dab the glue on there or using um, a sheet of adhesive. Now we want this guy to go a little bit left so we have room for our heart and glue that guy down and then if you've got any glue seep out just wipe it away this is killing me when we're just chatting i'm going to find my adhesive eraser and clean up my dot of glue there all right a little more stamping let's move on to the inside here i've got my label this is the nested stitched labels dies and it is the fourth. So right in the middle, one and three quarters by three and a quarter. Cut that one ahead. And then I'm going to use Stitch All Around. It's another one that I'm kind of sad as going. The greetings are fun. Oh, darling, you're fabulous. Enjoy your special day. Those are um, really, I don't know, they're a little... Uh, unusual oh darling you're fabulous a little bit the way that I 
that I would chalk. So I'm sad to see this one go. And the die set that goes with it is fabulous. So time to give it a last hurrah here. I'm going to stamp this one. It doesn't matter because we're stamping it inside the label. And it's not glued to our project yet. I didn't index it because it's an old clear mount stamp. Aren't you guys excited that we now have the cling mount and they stick to the block with the index? This is one that the index didn't stick. So I like to use those before I glue it on my project just in case. Doesn't matter that we stamped it upside down. Let's get that guy on the inside here. <laughs> Jan said made a bunch of the one with the candy in it and gave them away. Had to go out and everyone loved them. It was nice to put a smile on people's faces, right? That is so what we do. Do you guys know that that's why I show up here every single week? Because it makes you guys happy. I love to put a smile on your face. That's what we do as crafters. We put a smile on other people's faces. We get the joy, too, of doing the craft. It's good therapy, especially these days. It's good therapy. But after we have the joy, we get the joy of giving, and somebody gets the joy of receiving. It's just an amazing craft. What other craft can you sit down and in one sitting, even when you mess it up and do it upside down the first time, but in one sitting, you can put together something that gives you such joy that gives the next guy such joy. It, it really, you can't do that with knitting or crocheting. You can't give somebody a scarf in one sitting. I mean, it's a long sitting and a short scarf. You can't give somebody a quilt in a 20, 30 minute craft session. You can make a card, a couple of cards if you keep them really simple. In an hour of crafting, you can make a few projects or a few gift card holders, a few treats. And just really light up the world. I love this craft. All right. So I am decorating the inside here and the outside with some little lovely lipstick hearts. And if you stamp with me at all, you already know where that one came from. That is my favorite embellishment. Glad it's carrying into the new catalog. <laughs> this is the Be Mine Stitched dies. I cut out this guy save it for a project and use all of these on lots of other projects love this die set all right so we've got our outside almost decorated our inside is done let's slide that guy closed now my letters i have been so neglectful of this stamp set i bought it because with the simple line letters i thought how easy would that be to add cute little words to a project now the dies for this are expensive and they do like a um, tab, like a layering. It comes to a triangle. I couldn't stand them. I really couldn't. And so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna use them because they're high impact, but I'm just gonna cut them out because I like to fussy cut. Me and Carol, we like to fussy cut. <laughs> and so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my letters. I'm just gonna stamp them on Whisper White. And I'm going to cut them out with um, snips. And in this case, I'm also going to use a an X-Acto knife because I want the centers of my little letters cut out. So I've done L, V, and E. I'm going to do O for you right now so you get the idea without having to watch me cut all the letters. But they're really pretty much smooth cuts. Um, the die set is available if you want to die cut the letters, but it doesn't just die cut out the letters. It die cuts them out in um, a piece that grows wider to make a layer. That was an interesting product. So I'm just stamping my letters. I'll do all of them in Memento Tuxedo Black on Whisper White. And then I'm going to grab an X-Acto knife and a self-healing mat. I'm going to cut out any centers that need to be cut out. And we don't want to cut on the line. We want to cut to the outside of the line. If you're using an X-Acto knife, the best way is to cut, 
pull with your dominant hand and then move the paper. Turn the project as you go. Pull with your dominant hand, turn the paper. You'll get the smoothest cut that way. Make sure that you cut the insides first, giving yourself a nice handle to hold on to. Pretty simple. And then for cutting the outside of the letter, I'll trim off as I go and just cut the tiniest little hair past the line. And when you fussy cut with scissors, you close the scissor with your dominant hand, but with your non-dominant hand, you guide the paper. <laughs> All right, let's get back to our love. We're just going to add that on with some multi-purpose liquid glue. My advice is start backwards. Start with the E. Use your lines to keep them level and build your word backwards. I think this was a pretty good last hurrah for the in colors for the 2018, 2020 in colors. I had my little sentimental moment with them today. My first center stage, my first leader event. These colors were revealed and now they're going. Time marches on, doesn't it? There is. They'll be with me for a long time though, because I have re inkers and a pack of cardstock. <laughs> oh, there it is. Love you. Um, Carol says, Is that a gift card on the left side? Yes, it's a little Starbucks card. And all I did was put a tiniest little bit of tear and tape on the back. Um, a little trick if you have the time, something that I do often, you can take multi purpose liquid glue and put it on the back of your gift card. Let it dry entirely. So you have to do this ahead of time. If you're running out to the party, it's not gonna work. But if you put it on the back of your gift card, just a dot, and you let it dry entirely, then you can put it in there and it will be tacky enough that it'll hold the gift card, but it should come out without ruining the slider. <laughs> All right, so here's an open one and a close one side by side. I want to see your gift card holders. Put a little gift card in there. Um, share on the craft social. Anybody up for the challenge? Have a great weekend, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Love you.